Hey Crafty Friends, this is Nye with All Things Were Created. Today we are going to go through the assembly of the Cat Meow Photo Ornament. I will be using my Art Glitter Glue for gluing. And as you can see, I have all of the pieces here. They are cut out and they are lined up and ready to go. I went ahead and before I started the video, I went ahead and glued a lot of my lights down already on the, um, the wire of the lights here. So that way <laughs> you guys don't have to just um, watch me gluing the entire time. Plus this takes a little bit of time because they're so delicate. I still have this last one here to glue and I just wanna show you what I'm going to do in order to get it to work. I'm just going to take a little bit of my glue and just add a little dab right on the light. Then I'm going to use my push pin here to grab my light and then just place it down. And that's all it really takes to glue these down. It's just that they're kind of tricky because it's so thin and delicate and frail. And so you just want to take your time with that to get those done. And so, and you also just want to um, add the lights for the rest of the, the wire there. And so with that, I'm going to get started with gluing the rest here. Um, if you wanted to as well, you could also personalize this, um, cardstock ornament. You don't have to. If you didn't want to, you could just go ahead and use it like this and just not cut out these two back pieces. But you might want to cut out a couple extra of these pieces just because you wanted to make sure that you give your um, ornament here some weight to it. So I went ahead and I did the back and I personalized it. I wrote the name of a cat that we have in our neighborhood. We actually don't have a cat in our house because my husband and I are both <laughs> very allergic to them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece here, add the glue to the back here. Just doing it really quickly. Doesn't need to be a crazy amount of glue. And I'm going to hold it with this hand, grab this one. I'm going to hold it between my fingers here and then just use my fingers to kind of line up the two pieces here. So that way they're right on top of each other. Okay. And I also have my mouse friend here. I'm going to add him at the bottom and then glue him down also and then I'm going to add the meow part so I'm going to start with the backing first I'm going to put the red off here to the side for a second and so I'm going to add the glue to these so again, it doesn't require a huge amount of glue. And I did not use my fingers there to help me, so I might run into a little bit of problems. I'm trying to shift it. I've got just a couple seconds here before the glue sticks and then I'm stuck, but I was able to get it off. Okay, so I have this part down. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my circle template that was in the file. And I printed out this photo of this kitty cat on regular printer paper using my color printer. I found this photo um, online. I will add the credit to the artist who took the photo um, in the video and on the post. Um, I found this photo online though because we don't have a cat because we're allergic so I thought he was kind of cute. He reminds me of our neighborhood cat whose name was Sneakers. And so I'm going to take this template and put it right over where the face of the kitty is. I'm going to go ahead and just lightly draw a little bit of a circle around it. And I'm going to use my scissors just to cut this out. And it doesn't have to be completely perfect here, but you do kind of want to 
really kind of cut around on your line. You could do this, um, you could flatten the image and take it into design space if you really wanted to do that, but I just thought this would be faster and quicker to do it this way. Okay, so there's the kitty. And what I'm going to do now is, as you can see, it's gonna be a little bit bigger than the space. And that's okay, because you want it to kind of sit just like that. And it just allows for a little bit of um, error. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue the back here, add glue to the back, I should say. And then place it right down right there and now when I go to glue this part right on top you can see it's just going to sit right on top and it's so cute okay and so just adding the glue now to the back of the top layer and then once again I'm just going to place it down if you wanted to use um, photo paper you could too I used regular printer paper only because I knew that I was going to sandwich it between these two layers and I didn't want to have I didn't want it to be thick I didn't want to add any extra weight between this because it's not going to, the printer paper is not anywhere else. It's just right here in this section. And so I didn't want it to be really anywhere else. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue the lights down. And so what you need to do is this part here where it's the bigger, wider circle, that's going to go around the O and where the picture is. And I'm going to go ahead and place a little bit of glue right on these parts here because I know that this is where my ornament is going to sit in the lights and so I'm going to just place it down right there and use my fingers again to just kind of make everything line up so just gently put it down to get it in the right spot And then you can lift certain areas and add a little bit right there, a little bit right there on the back of this one. And then put it down. And then again, I'm going to just add a little bit on this part here at the bottom. Okay, and then for the top part of the lights as well, you can add it there, right here. You can see certain areas where the lights are going to be, where they're going to sit, and so that's just where, oh, I did that in the wrong spot, see? So that one I know is going there, and this one's going right there, and right there, and there we go. I had a little bit, it was a little off there. Okay. And then the last spot right here. All right. And so there it is, it's so cute. Let me just grab this little bit of glue that seems to have gotten there. And it's super cute. And if you wanted to, you can um, take a little bit of twine and just add a hook at the back. And thanks so much for watching this video.